Welcoming Rick to the Hall of Fame are a towering and talented twosome who had his back on the court and along the sidelines, Vladi Divac and Jack Sitma. Please put your hands together for Rick Adelman. I got those two guys to help me up those steps. So uh, this has been something I didn't expect. I haven't done this in a long time, um, and I want to thank the Hall of Fame for this honor. This is really overwhelming to me. So you're going to have to have a little patience. It's special to be inducted with Chris Weber. We had some great years together. He may be a better coach. I also want to thank Vladi and Jack for presenting me today. It means a lot. Especially it means a lot when Vladi came in with a tie on. <laughs> I never dreamed about coaching the NBA, let alone have an honor like this. I had the good fortune to have talented players, tremendous people to work with through the years. I was blessed to have a great fan, a wife and, and family. I want to thank my mom and dad, my sisters Joanne, Patty, and Monica, my brothers Cleet, who's here today with his boys, and my brother Frank. They were always so supportive of me. I also want to uh, thank my brother-in-law, Gary Fournier, who is there for me as a friend and advisor through all the years. I coached in Lee for 28 years. I, I still can't believe that when someone told me. And 23 is a head coach. Uh, I know how hard it is in the NBA to be a coach. You don't pick your players. I was fortunate to land on some really good teams. I hope more, more coaches from the NBA will get a chance in the future to get in. I think of Dick Mata, Larry Costello, and so many others. Uh, when I received this honor, it made me reflect back on all the people who helped me along the way. There are a lot of people to thank. I think about owners like Larry Weinberg, Paul Allen, Glenn Taylor. I also want to mention Dr. Sheldon Burns in Minnesota. He meant so much to my, me and my family. Um, you know, when I got here, I had this all planned, the speech and everything else, and all of a sudden I get here and there's all these players and coaches that coach with me, and that's unbelievable. The front of the office people like Jeff Petrie, who I shared great success in Portland, Sacramento. Jeff and I were roommates when we played. I don't know where they got a highlight film of me playing, but I'll have to remember that and ask for it. Jeff was very special. We were friends for 50 years, and it was a very special time. Also, people like Harry Glickman, Wayne Cooper, Jerry Reynolds, Daryl Morey, and David Kahn. They all helped me along the way. My assistants, I mean, what do you do without great assistants? And I had them. Again, some of these guys showed up, and I can't thank them enough. John Wetzel, who's here, Elson Turner is here, Jack Sigma. T.R. Dunn, who's here, Pete Carell, Terry Porter, who's here, Bill, <coughs> excuse me, Bubba Burridge, Bill Baino, and of course my son's R.J. He was with me in Houston and David in Minnesota. You know, you have to thank the people who supported your team and you. Trainers like Mike Sheminsky, Pete Youngman, Keith Jones, also, all the equipment men, film workers, and security people along the way. I didn't know I was ever going to coach in the NBA. I started out, uh, I add this a little bit, I thought I was going to coach high school. They told me I had no experience when I got out of the league. So I had to get experience. And I got started at Chemeca Community College in Salem, Oregon. We had great success there. The one thing I did not realize is Jack Ramsey was following my team. 
When he had an opening on his staff, he interviewed me, offered me the job as assistant coach. Jack is the coach I think of as a Hall of Fame coach. I was an assistant for five years and was given a chance to finish the season as interim head coach. I finished that season and Paul Allen gave me a chance to be a full-time coach for one year. Uh, we had a team that was ready to win. We had a great starting five. Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, Kevin Duckworth, Jerome Kersey, and Buck Williams. A couple of those people should be in this Hall of Fame also. We also had Cliff Robinson, Drazen Petrovic, later Danny Ainge, and Rod Strickland. That was a special group. They were a close group, and they had a great idea of what it took for them to win. They were tough, explosive. We had the three best offensive rebounders at three positions in the league, and Clyde, Jerome, and Buck. Sometimes I think they really just threw the ball up there so they could pad the rebounding stats. I have to thank <coughs> Chris mentioned the Sacramento fans, and I have to I have to talk about the Portland fans first. They were unbelievable. When we had that team for those three or four years, the whole city was filled with signs about the Trailblazers. We made our playoff runs, and there were thousands of people at the airport at three in the morning to meet the team. That group went on to win to get into two finals in three years, they had the best record at the time. I was able to watch an NBA TV special I had never seen before last week. I saw it and I realized how special they were to my career. It's so sad to me for that team, there's four guys, Jerome, Drazen, Cliff, and Duck, who are not with us and they went away way too young. I was lucky to coach another great team in Sacramento, totally different than the Portland team. I was reunited with Jeff Petrie and he put together a great team. We had Vladi, we had Chris, players like Peji Stojakovic is here today, Mike Bibby, Doug Christie was here today, Bobby Jackson was here today, Brad Miller, and we also had Jason Williams who's here today. What a great group. That team, people loved to watch play. I mean, they just took off around, not only in Sacramento, but across the country. Uh, they got on top of the, in front of Sports Illustrated, and they were, they were just the talk of the league. We had great players with great skills, a very intelligent team. With three big men like Chris, Vladi, and Brad, they were so unique. They were creative, and they were great passers. We developed an offense that ran through them. And they had seen that in the league before. They were at the elbow and we ran through them, a lot of cutting. But again, the players were so smart. A uh, great group of guys to coach, very easy to coach. The fans in Sacramento, Chris said it, they're the greatest fans with Portland. Uh, they were both they were both similar. The cities were similar. They loved their teams. It was the only team in town. So they just loved the players. Um, in both cities, we never missed the playoffs. I was able to coach two other teams with talented players. In Houston, chance to coach Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady, Kyle Lowry, Shane Battier, I'm gonna keep naming them names, uh, Luis Scola, Kevin Martin, Rafer Alston, Chuck Hayes, and Dikembe wanted me to be sure to say Dikembe Mutombo. And in Minnesota, I had some good players, very good players in Kevin Love, Ricky Rubio, and Luke Rittenhauer. In Houston, we had a 22-game winning streak. We did it without Yao for the last half of that streak. Unbelievable. I mean, you can't imagine, we couldn't imagine where that came from. But these guys were tough-minded players. They all accepted the roles, and they did them well. Now, it may get tough here for me. I have to mention my... <coughs> Excuse me, my family. All my kids are here. Oh, sitting over there. Uh, Kathy, her husband John, Laura, husband Chris, my son David, who coaches in Denver, uh, with a pretty good player on their team too, in Jokic. 
uh, his wife Jenny, my daughter Caitlin, husband Jeff, and my son Patrick. <clears throat> the one that is missing is my son RJ, passed away three years ago. How I wish he was here. Today, before I came here, I got a video of my 12 grandkids. <clears throat> so I'm kind of under orders to mention them because they're watching. <clears throat> There's Mary Kay, Mackenzie, Maddie, Anna, Emily, Zach, Tyler, Caleb, LJ, Lennon, and Cameron, and Gemma. You know, you're looking back at your career and you realize how special it was. But to me, <coughs> my greatest accomplishment is my family. That only, <coughs> excuse me, that only happened because my wife of 51 years and my best friend, Mary Kay. Again, it's been a long time I never realized this day was going to come. When it did, I realized how special it is. I realized all the special people that affected me in my career and me playing or coaching in the NBA. So I want to thank you all.